What's up guys, and if you're a high level, you're probably wondering, how do I get exotic armor? And most of you know most of the answers. There are a couple of new ones that you may or may not have gotten. For example, the five main ways to get exotic armor that I know, and maybe more, is one, Crucible, of course. You can get pretty much anything from Crucible at the end of the match. Uh, the odds of you getting something are very, 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 very slim. It's unbelievably slim. You may have seen someone get a sniper, or um, like the icebreaker, or the patience and time sniper, where my friend actually found someone who got one, where he was the lowest scoring player on the team. Uh, it's pretty much random. You won't you won't always get the best thing because you were the best player in the game, unfortunately. The second way is engrams. That's how I get most of mine. I've gotten a couple of Titan exotic armor. I got an exotic chest plate and exotic helmet. I'm a hunter. Okay, so that's kind of a problem where I do have my exotic chest plate. Thirdly, that's even a word, is Nightfall and Raids. I put them two together because they're intense. Nightfall gives you a higher chance of getting it, a lot actually. Fourth is from Bounties. Uh, some of you may have gotten these. I have gotten two myself, where once you turn in a lot of Bounties, the guy, the Bounty person, will sometimes give you three options to pick from for an exotic weapon and these are only four exotic weapons and there's five in all but they come three at a time uh... it'll give you thorns handgun it'll give you bad juju which is a pulse rifle at primary it'll give you a shotgun which i don't know the name of it'll give you a fusion rifle don't know the name of i think it's a rocket launcher you can look those names up there's plenty of videos out there and the fifth one, which you all know, because he's probably the most popular person in the game, is Xur. X-U-R. That's how I pronounce his name, Xur. I don't know. It just felt right. Now, Xur only shows up from Friday morning to Sunday morning. It's, he's really random. He doesn't really have an exact position, but he's, a, he's usually there. And he will give you exotic armor for around 13 strange coins. He'll give you an engram for 23 motes of light, which... You can decide on taking it or not, because it may or may not give you an actual armor piece that fits your class, because I know a couple people that have actually bought it, and it gives you the opposite class, which is an ongoing thing inside Destiny, unfortunately. Those are the five main ways that I know that I've experienced to get exotic armors. Another big hint into, for the engrams, because sometimes you don't get engrams that are exotic, sometimes you get legendary engrams, which are pretty rare by themselves. If you have a high level Cryptarch rank, I've noticed that once you hand in something legendary, like if you're level 3 Cryptarch and you hand in a legendary, they'll probably give you like some crappy, or I would say crappy to some people, but some rare armor. Uh, it's not really that good if you're looking for some exotic or legendary. Uh, I'm a level 11 Cryptarch, and whenever I hand in something legendary, it always gives me something legendary of that class. Just recently, I finally got my auto rifle, Shadow Price from a legendary engram, and uh, I was going to buy that, but thank god it didn't. And those are the five ways that I know to get exotic armor and or weapons. Hope you guys enjoyed, I hope it helped you out, hope it made you level up some further, and you guys have been it for me, peace. What is